$322 billion. That, says the National Education Association, is the staggering amount it will take to fix America's schools. The NEA's report said that many of America's schools are crumbling, crowded, and obsolete. Experts also agree that most existing schools, which resemble warehouses with crowded classrooms and long halls, need to be rethought and perhaps replaced. Ideally, schools should be safe from disasters, be energy efficient, be built to last, be constructed economically, and easy to maintain. They should also provide an environment conducive to different learning experiences and approaches. Schools should be an asset not only to students, but to the community as well. Monolithic dome schools accomplish all these objectives and more. Arizona has the greatest number of monolithic dome schools. There, conventional school construction is almost 20% more than monolithic dome construction. And conventional schools lack the benefit of ongoing energy, maintenance, and insurance savings. Sue Myers, principal of Frontier Elementary in Payson, Arizona, said that for many years, Payson's voters would not pass a school bond. Finally, they passed a bond for a new elementary school for 500 students. But when Payson got the construction plans, they found they could only afford a school big enough for 150 students. So cost immediately became a big issue. That's when the board began looking for alternatives and found monolithic domes. The nearby town of White River, Arizona is home to another monolithic dome school, Cradleboard Elementary. John Clark, superintendent of schools, said that the primary factor influencing their decision for domes was also financial. They did construction and long-term cost comparisons and visited Payson several times. Clark said that Cradleboard probably saved somewhere between $250,000 and $500,000 with monolithic domes. Heber Overgaard, a school district that spans two towns in Arizona, also reported they opted for monolithic domes because of reasonable construction costs and lower long-term operational expenses. During the construction of their monolithic dome high school, Rick Kibbe, school district superintendent in Texoma, Oklahoma, was interviewed on the radio. He said that with a monolithic dome, Texoma was getting about 29% more building for 8% less money. The first dome high school ever built was Emmett High in Emmett, Idaho. Besides saving on construction, they saved in another way. In Idaho, the school districts formed an insurance co-op to combat high fire insurance rates. But it was actually cheaper for Emmett to buy insurance independently. In vulnerability to fire, natural disaster, mold, mildew, and termites makes the monolithic dome a low-risk structure so insurance premiums are often significantly less. Monolithic dome schools can usually save 50% or more of energy usage at no extra cost in construction. Monolithic domes are constructed using superior building materials. The concrete's thermal mass, coupled with the foam's insulative value, work together to give the monolithic dome its energy efficiency. That translates into lower energy costs, less heating and cooling equipment, and less equipment maintenance, repair, and replacement. These savings accumulated in a bond account could equal the total cost of the facility in less than 20 years. Gene Walker, superintendent of a monolithic dome school in Pattonsburg, Missouri, calculated that it would take just 11 years of energy cost savings to equal the price of their new school. In Emmett, Superintendent Ron Noble did an energy cost comparison between Emmett High School and Sweet Montour Elementary, a conventionally built school in their district. He said that the average yearly energy consumption at the smaller Sweet Montour School cost 33.3 .3 cents per square foot, but at the larger Emmett High, it cost only 9.2 cents per square foot. Near absolute protection, as is defined by FEMA, 
is another major inherent benefit of the monolithic dome. Near absolute protection refers to structures that provide shelter for students, staff, and the community from tornadoes, hurricanes, fire, earthquakes, and other natural disasters. Because Florida is a prime target for hurricanes, the Catholic Diocese of Venice, Florida, chose monolithic domes for their Bishop Nivens Academy. It will include seven domes when completed. Many other monolithic dome schools are built in areas susceptible to natural disaster. El Centro de la Familia in Genoa, Utah, is located in an area with high risk of earthquakes. The school in Texoma and the multipurpose centers in Italy and Avalon, Texas, are all in tornado country. All of these schools and the children they house are safe and secure. Monolithic domes provide optimal interior and exterior design flexibility. They are beautiful and make the most of every square foot. Cradleboard's principle said that the architecture, design, and colors of their domes are often complemented. She told us the interior space is very usable and encourages learning and creativity. One teacher made her curved wall into a planetarium for the study of the solar system. Grand Meadow, Minnesota is home to a beautiful new monolithic dome school. Teachers at Grand Meadow have found that their new domes provide excellent teaching environments. Their elementary and high school domes are designed with classrooms surrounding large, open, carpeted areas that can accommodate several groups doing different things simultaneously. Teachers are able to schedule a wide variety of activities where you need room to spread out. Pattonsburg School District reports that their internal design and layout provide significant security and the operational efficiency that every school wants. Access to certain areas can be as open or as limited as needed. Principal Sue Myers at Frontier Elementary said that she can be in any classroom in any of their three domes in 30 seconds. Myers thinks the circular design of the domes provide a more cohesive collegial atmosphere. The monolithic dome is the school of the future. Often, bond after bond will fail in a particular town. But when the proposal is for a 21st century superior monolithic dome facility, it suddenly passes. These clear span structures allow freedom in design and affordable remodeling when needs change. Monolithic domes block out external noise while providing a safe haven inside. They are easy to secure or open up in case of an emergency. They serve their communities as meeting houses and disaster shelters. Students are proud of these schools and their schoolwork reflects that pride. In Texoma, Superintendent Rick Kibbe said his district is excited about the legacy they are leaving their children. He said that at the beginning of the 20th century, Texoma built its first brick building, but at the beginning of the 21st, Texoma built its first monolithic dome.